Welcome to Attainable Green. I'm Jess and today I want to share with you how I'm taking care of these two dehydrated fowls that have no roots. So to give quick background, I got a box of 30 orchids a couple of weeks ago. Most of them had mealybugs so I had to treat them for that and then since then I've been repotting and trying to make sure that these plants can acclimate to my environment. So these two plants were one of the first that I had to repot and I didn't have all my media materials ready for them. So I potted one in Lekka and the other in small bark. After um, a week or two, I noticed that these plants were still deteriorating and I didn't have enough time to keep them hydrated in this setup. So I unpotted them again and I noticed that one had no roots at all and the other one had a couple of little roots, um, but they were still both struggling. The leaves on these plants were very shriveled and very desiccated and it just looked very limp and pretty lifeless. Usually at this point I would probably toss these plants because um, they're not super valuable and I can get new ones without um, putting in so much work and effort. But this time around I'm just going to try and see um, how resilient these plants are and I'm going to do my best to rescue them. So for the first plant that has a couple of small little roots, I just potted it up in a smaller pot um, with the same small bark medium and just keeping that high moisture um, in that pot so that um, it can establish itself some more. So about a week or two um, since I did that repot, uh, I noticed there there's a small tiny root nubbin coming out and once that emerges, I think this plant will do well. Obviously the lower leaves and probably most of these leaves on this plant is going to fall off and I'm really hoping that new roots grow and maybe one new leaf at the crown will grow and that will really set this plant up towards the path of recovery. So the next plant had absolutely no roots. Uh, it was just too dehydrated, all of the roots were gone and it was originally packed in Lekka and I think it just got way too dry for this plant to survive. So what most people do in this situation is they do a version of spag and bag where you put a little bit of moist moss in a bag with the plant to induce a more humid environment to encourage the roots to grow. I've done that before in the past and for some reason I always get mold and the plants just die. So for me that is just not a viable option. Another option that people use is called the black tea method where they create a solution of dilute black tea and they soak the plant um, in that solution for a few days um, on and off to create a fast wet dry cycle to induce the roots to grow um, as well. There are other methods that people do use to encourage root growth, um, but for me, I think the easiest low maintenance solution for me is um, I'm going to put this on a uh, support stand and I'm gonna put it in my humidity tent outdoors. Um, the plant's gonna get watered every day or every other day, and um, the high humidity there should encourage some root growth. Now, this is something I have not tried before, so it'll be kind of a new experiment for me to see how it does. But I am hopeful because even though this plant looks very dehydrated, there is a small leaf at the top that is very firm. So I know that it has some possibility of recovery. After about two weeks in the humidity tent, um, this plant is actually doing great. Um, the roots are starting to come out. So I know that this plant is on its way to mending. Um, once the roots emerge about a couple of inches, I think I'll start putting it into media. So that's what's going on with two of my fowls from this epic orchid rescue. And so far I am really liking the results of these two. It's gonna have a very, very long road to recovery um, because of how desiccated this plant has been, but there is definitely hope. So in a month that it took for this plant to look pretty firm and pretty healthy to looking almost lifeless with really wrinkled leaves, it's taken at least one more month right now um, for it to start putting out new roots, new leaves, and heading towards recovery. So all is not lost, even if a plant is very dehydrated. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time and effort and figuring out um, the proper location for these plants. Once you get that, then you kind of help it along so that it can recover and grow. Well, 
that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in to this epic orchid rescue episode. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to follow along on my orchid journey. Um, I hope you all are staying safe, staying cool, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!